Dumelang. Legai. My name is Grace Kuno. I'm the Vice Dean of Research in the Faculty of Humanities, University of Johannesburg. Uh, I'm going to be Program Director today. Uh, but I want to do something because the first person who's supposed to speak is on his way. So I'm going to read a paragraph from this book, <coughs> Still Grazing. It's a book that captures the lives and times of that the humans again. I grew up in a small town in South Africa named Vetbank, a one street redneck right wing Africana town surrounded by coal mines and coal trains with endless carriages and coal packed containers crisscrossing the horizon pulled by steam engines we called Mangalanya, churning smoke up into the air. I remember seeing women in the mornings and at sunset running al alongside the coal trains with large tin cups collecting the coal nuggets that fell from the cars. It was a tough town where African miners drank themselves sporously to blot out memory of the blackness of the mines and the families and the lands they left behind. Often, never to see again, but even when the burning coal and dust blackened out the sun, we still had music to sing out sorrows and illuminate our ecstasy. <clears throat> this is a brilliant book. I think we must all try to get a copy. Um, from, from having read this book, I, I was quite excited when I, when, I, when I was invited to be program director today. Because Hugh Masekela is a man who has lived many lives. I think he's a cat. He has nine lives. <laughs> it's unfortunate that he won't be here today, but his spirit is here. And that is why we are going to have this lecture honoring him today. Um, the person who's supposed to speak now is Murak Abe Siakwa. Is he here yet? Yes. Great. Uh, Mr. Murak Abe Siakwa is managing director of Why Right Associates. Um, may you please come and... The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.